Unlike gradual alignment changes from spring sag or parts wear, large variations may be due to damaged parts and or modifications in ride height. If the alignment problem is restricted to only one wheel position, a damaged part may be the cause. Although it is sometimes impossible to narrow it down to a single component, the following approach will help reduce much of the troubleshooting time and guesswork. Note the type suspension used at that wheel position. Then record the alignment angles in question. In this case, camber on the left front is extremely positive and caster extremely negative. Next, one component at a time, visualize how it would have to be distorted to create alignment error at that wheel. Starting with the upper control arm, imagine it bent back or forward. In either case, camber will not shift positive. Next, suppose the spindle was bent. Bending the spindle down will certainly create positive camber. But bending the spindle up or down will have little effect on caster. Now imagine the lower control arm bent. As you can see, if the lower control arm is bent back and in, camber will move in a positive direction. Caster will move in a negative direction. These positions match the errors on the vehicle. At this point, the lower control arm has become the number one suspect. If the alignment errors are not restricted to one wheel position, it would be wise to investigate ride height further. Excessive spring sag on certain vehicles may cause large alignment changes. Ride height modifications or vehicles suffering from loading problems may also bring about large shifts in alignment. Spring sag may only be resolved through spring replacement. Alignment errors due to height modification may require the use of aftermarket kits. Loading problems will usually require educating the customer.